My name is Stephanie Sinclair and I'm a photographer with Seven Photo Agency. I joined in, I believe, 2008 and now I'm a full member and I'm one of the owners of Seven. We have the Seven Gallery to show work from the different photographers we have. Sometimes we have outside work as well that's inspirational to us or that we really feel is important. And yeah, it's just a nice place to showcase our work and, and have it seen in New York. Personally, <laughs> I consider myself more of a, a storyteller, without a doubt. But I think, it, strangely enough, it does get um, uh, seen as art by a lot of people. I really love journalism. I love um, telling stories, and but I'm you know wasn't always that comfortable with uh, writing as far as I couldn't express what I was feeling. With, uh, with writing it down. It was always, I just couldn't quite capture it. So for me, I was able to do that uh, through photography. It w I, there was that sort of extra something that came out in the pictures that I could never describe to somebody in words. I feel that, well, what we do as a, as a profession as photojournalists is take people places where they probably would never go on their own. And so, for the topic of never uh, in relation to this project, I wanted to do something the same, but more accessible. You know, like n not everything has to be overseas that they'll, n they'll never experience or never thought they would experience. Some things can happen right in their backyard and they just never thought they would have the courage to do it or didn't know it was there and accessible uh, for them to do in a place like New York. That's definitely something that people don't I think when you ask them what they're going to do today, they're not, it's not normally a common answer you hear. I'm going to fly through the air today. <laughs> so I thought it would be an appropriate topic for uh, the word never. My friend's daughter was having a birthday party and had mentioned that a bunch of them were going to go over there. And I just thought that was an amazing thing to do. And I didn't know that you could do that here in New York. And then it occurred to me that, because um, I had seen the place that has the uh, the trapeze outdoors, but I didn't realize that was for anyone to, to do. I thought it was a really great way to, um, to express the word never because, you know, people don't think they're going to do that. And this was certainly a first time experience for uh, my friend's daughter. I'm not really great with heights, so that was also one of the things that I thought would be fun about this project is this is definitely something I would never do. This was shot mainly to kind of be an experience for the viewers, um, because most viewers, I assume, have never done this. <laughs> They've never been on a trapeze, and they probably never uh, thought they would be or, or think they will be in the future. So it was kind of meant to be experiential and have, uh, have them kind of have the feeling of, of if they went and did this and what that would be like. And, and part of the experience in New York is being able to see the skylines and being above the city and, and just kind of the weightlessness of flying through the air. I chose the 7D for this assignment because um, it's a much faster camera than the other ones we were working with for this project. And, you know, when you're, when you're photographing people in uh, moving quickly, you do need uh, to be able to take several pictures at once or at least be able to have no shutter lag at all, you know, just be able to, to really move quickly. And so the, the size of the camera and the extra battery power helps that happen. I think when you do things you never thought you would, it not only helps you grow as an artist, but as a person. It's just a matter of, of, of experiencing things and when you're ready to do that and, and you know, being up for challenges or, or new opportunities.